Part two of our CHL title game rematch from last March. Tapra against Rugla. The Swedes a one goal lead from the first leg. Tapra on the march in the second leg. The early shot taken by Jeff Platt. The save made by Christopher Riefalk. At the other end, Christian Helianko called into action. That with Lukas Klock, the Czech defenseman for Rugla, causing difficulty. Later in the first period, side of the net again, Riefalk making a save. Rather cramped quarters at both ends of the ice in the opening period. That time, Maxim Matushkin, the defenseman closest to the Rugla net. Late in the first, Valtteri Kemelainen in off the point. Testing Riefalk, but no goals in the opening 20 minutes. Into the second period, though, look at that great pass by Christian Tanos to find Yori Lettera. Seven assists in the CHL this season. Before tonight for Lettera, that his first European goal. Lettera beats Riefalk in the quarterfinal, all square on aggregates. Later in the second period, rising shots taken by Adam Engstrom, dealt with easily by Helianko. Probably clearing the crossbar, but Helianko making the save. And then clock on the doorstep, Helianko, the puck somehow trapped under his pads. Clock it was off the left Good point, job, unable to light the lamp again. That's it. Virgil is still looking for their first goal on the night. Instead at the other end, watch Tanis again picking the puck up. Look at this pass. How pretty is that to Veli Matu Savaninen? Two beautiful helpers on the night for Tanis. Savanine in his third CHL goal of the season, and for the first time in the quarterfinal, Tapra in front on aggregate. But then a harmless looking shot from Adam Edstrom eluding Helianko into the back of the net. Just like that, Rugla 2 1 behind on the night, but it's 4 4 on aggregate at the end of two. Third period, though, a power play chance, and Nico Oyameki in the top scorer's jersey. Backhanding home through a narrow gap left by Riefalk. Tapra once again in front on Oyameki's fifth goal of the year. And make it six, the empty netter for Oyameki to seal the deal. Two goals on the night for Oyameki. And as it happens, Savanainen would get a second of the night as well into an empty net. A little icing on the Tapra cake. 5-1 it would finish for the Finns. They are through to their second CHL semifinal.